today's product is Lily Pilly Gym. This is from Manly Spirits. It's a company I've been doing a little bit of work with recently and they've got a new product. It's just come on the market and it's called Lily Pilly Gym. So this has been um, made with a lot of uh, native plants, things like that. The Lily Pilly obviously is one of the main ingredients. It's got raspberries in it. It has um, the pig's face plant, which is a coastal succulent. Uh, it's made with those flowers. It's, um, it's got blood oranges in it, uh, pink grapefruits, limes. There's no sugar in it, or well, no added sugar that I know of anyway. And yeah, let's see if we can make a shot which uh, represents this. Okay, let's see what I've come up with. This morning, I um, had a very lovely neighbour that um, gave me some plants off her bush. This is a lily pilly bush. And as you can see, it's covered in flowers. It's got some berries starting to come through on it there. And I thought that is perfect. This one seems to have come out early this year, so I thought I'll make the most of it. Okay, I've also gone and got myself some pink grapefruit and some red berries. Um, I've obviously got a cocktail glass and I have the bottle. One of the things that's important to do is to prep your bottle. As you can see, I've cut the label off the back of this bottle That's so light can go through and it doesn't give you strange looking shadows on the other side. The way I like to shoot these sort of shots is to Although it's in my studio, I try and make it look as you know natural as possible. So I generally put all my lights from one side and make it look like I, I, you know the sun is the main source of light. In the background, again, I'm using my wife's painted background, which um, you know again it looks like a sunset. Um, on this side, I have a roll of diffuser behind the diffuser. I found I needed a bit more diffuser, so I got a second um, diffuser there. And I'm using a strip box, which is shooting across it, and that gives that nice from the side looking light. Behind it, I have a speed light shooting at the background. I've actually got a, um, a quarter CTO on there just to give it a little bit of an orange tint. And on the front here, I have a snoot which is shooting straight at the label. To get um, a bit more light, I've got one more uh, speed light in the soft box, which is just kicking a bit of light down onto the bush, just uh, because it's a bit darker, it absorbs the light more, so it needs to balance it out. That's what that light's doing. I also have this bounce card, which I push in and it wraps straight in like this, as you can see. So I've got a little space there for my camera to shoot through. The camera I'm using again, it's my X-T3. And this time the lens I've got on there is the 16 to 55. I'm at about 35 millimeters on this one, which um, gives me the perfect field of view. Okay. So to get the shot that we're after today, what I'm doing is I've got this grapefruit and I'm squeezing it and as it all drips in, that's when I take the shots. So what I'm just going for is just that little bit of human element okay. that I can do to get to my final shot. So the first thing I do is I bring in um, what I call a plate shot, background plate shot because obviously your ice is going to melt things like that, stuff's going to change and that, you know, you can't help. So you try and get one clean shot before you bring in anything else that um, you can always go back to. And this is my background plate here. The second shot that I brought in, I brought in the, the hand squeezing the juice. So that's um, where I went from there. I went into a curves layer, just brightened it up a little bit. Then I brought in another curves layer, which just, um, I just did a reverse mask and it's just doing a little bit, as you can see it here in the, in the grapefruit. Um, and I made a smart object, just sharpened up the, I like to sharpen up the, the labels and uh, any other little 
features. You can see that I've sharpened up the in here and this is on the, the fish of nine. You can hopefully see that in YouTube. Uh, then I brought in a hue saturation layer. I just added a little bit more pink to the, the grapefruit and the drinks. From there, got another curves layer. I just thought my hand was a little bit dark up there, so I wanted to just even it out a bit. And again, another curves layer, which was just for the bottle, just to give a little bit more light in the bottle. So I grouped all of those together. So that's before, that's after. And final shot, I just did a little, had a bit of a specular highlight here, and I removed that. Okay, so that was how I got this shot. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel, uh, ask me any questions you want, and I'll do my best to get back to you. Thanks very much.